Donald Trump can't quit election night, so he created a commission to make the evening a little bit more of a sunny memory for him. He did win, he did win, but that's not what's irking him. He's still irked about losing the popular vote. So today he talked about all of that illegal voting that's out there. This issue is very important to me because throughout the campaign and even after it, people would come up to me and express their concerns about voter inconsistencies and irregularities, which they saw, in some cases having to do with very large numbers of people in certain states. The problem is that there really isn't any evidence at all that there is widespread voter fraud, certainly not the three to five million cases of it, which is what the president said back in November, ultimately cost him the popular vote. So what is the point of this voter integrity panel and why are they asking for so much voter data? Joining me from the White House is Chris Kobach, the Kansas Secretary of State, also the man who's heading up this commission. Um, uh, Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us, uh, Secretary. Uh, you ha had your first meeting today. You, le you laid out several priorities for the group, uh, but none of those priorities involved hacking into the election, what would be done in order to protect our voter systems. So is that something that was just left out of the meeting today? Will you be looking into it? Um, actually, uh, I, I, whoever briefed you might have missed it. Uh, we actually did mention that as one of the topics, is the security of our election voter registration rolls against hacking. Uh, that's one of the topics that the commission will be addressing. Um, and I would also note that the commission did actually take information at this first meeting about proving cases of voter fraud. Uh, one of the commissioners introduced documents of 938 convictions for voter fraud, uh, almost all of them since the year 2000. So those are from the 50 states. Uh, so that already we're amassing data. Uh, but this first meeting was principally about the topics that will be discussed at future meetings. But again, uh, already some impressive data being assembled by the commission. What about Russian meddling into the election? Did you bring that up? That is one of the topics that you really have to divide that into two halves, right? So you, on one hand, you have uh, attempts to violate the integrity of our voter rolls. Uh, we will be looking at the integrity of the voter rolls. That is the will of the commission to, uh, to, to broach that subject. But on the other hand, you also have the much broader topic about um, obtaining people's emails and, and publicizing embarrassing emails. That's really not the uh, job of this commission. This commission is about the machinery of voting, the, the voting machines, the processes, the registration systems, not the much broader issue about attempting to uh, indirectly influence them. So we will certainly be looking at uh, any attempts to hack a state's voter rolls. Will you make the commission's meetings public? Uh, future, well, the, this meeting was public. If, if by public you mean will the public be able to come and uh, make testimony in front of the commission, uh, yes, future meetings will allow uh, public testimony. But uh, all of the meetings are in the open, broad daylight. Uh, the press is invited and uh, they are uh, publicly available and people can, of course, watch them online. So Vice President Pence said this commission had uh, no preconceived notions, but you've referred to, I believe it's lingering doubts from the, from the, from the American people about voter fraud in the last election. So so how do you square those two? How can there be no preconceived notions, but at the same time for you to have lingering doubts? Well, I think that individual commissioners like me, I, I, in Kansas as Secretary of State, we've presented a lot of data to federal courts because we're defending our proof of citizenship requirement. And so we certainly have, I, I have notions about what the issue is in Kansas and what, what the threats are to the integrity of our elections in Kansas, but I don't have that data and other commissioners don't have that information about the other 49 states from their perspective. And so this is the first nationwide effort to collect facts and present those facts to the president and to the American public and people can draw their own conclusions. If people think that the facts don't indicate that uh, voter fraud in one form or another is a, is a big concern, then they can draw those conclusions. Do you believe Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by three to five million votes? You know, we may never know the answer to that. Fraud? We, we, we will probably never know the answer to that question because even if you could prove that a certain number of votes were cast by ineligible voters, for example, is that why you, you, is you, that why know, you guys you wouldn't know, is that why you wouldn't this commission exists you, because the president believes that he no. would have won the popular vote? I, I'm glad you asked that question because actually that's that is not the reason the commission exists. It's not to uh, justify, to validate or invalidate what the president said in uh, December or January about the 2016 election. The commission is to look at the facts as they are and go where the facts lead us uh, on voter fraud and. And threats to the integrity of our elections. So again, you think that maybe Hillary Clinton did not win the popular vote? We may never know the answer to that question. How do you say we may never know the answer to that question? Really? Really? You really believe that? Well, well I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, let's suppose that the commission determined that there were a certain number of votes cast by ineligible voters. 
you still won't know whether those people who are ineligible voted for Trump or for Clinton or for somebody else. And so it's impossible to ever know exactly, if you took out all the ineligible votes, what the final tally would be uh, in that election. You can obviously, you know, based on the data, you can, you can make some very educated guesses. So are the votes for Donald Trump that led him to win the election in doubt as well? Absolutely. If, if there are ineligible voters in an election, people who are non-citizens, people who are felons who shouldn't be voting, so are, is according our democratic to the law of that state, process you completely don't know. broken? Are we not? Should we not be confident that when we cast a, a, a ballot, that anyone we're voting for is actually going to get elected? That, that's exactly Fairly? the reason the commission. That's exactly the reason the commission exists. You know, polls show that the majority of Americans think that our elections are either unfair or. Uh, so, uh, very susceptible to fraud, um, and so the the point of the commission is to look and say, okay, what are what are the facts? How susceptible to fraud? How much fraud is there? And to make recommendations. Okay, if this particular type of fraud exists, what can states do to ward off that type of voter fraud? So again, it's to restore confidence in our elections, to look carefully in, on a nation, nationwide level at these particular sources of fraud, and that's never been done before. <clears throat> states like Kansas, we may have done it on a statewide level, but never has there been a nationwide inquiry. The, into the subject, and it's high time there was. The president tweeted right after the election that he would have won if it wasn't for all of this voter fraud. Uh, when he came into office, he said he was going to create a voter fraud commission. That is how this commission was born. And you're saying right now that this commission is not born to prove what the president believes, which is that he would have won the popular vote if it wasn't for all of that voter fraud. And he says every single vote that was cast went to Hillary Clinton. Every one of those questionable votes that he claims exists went to Hillary Clinton. The That's not the, why this commission exists? No, no. The purpose of the commission is not to validate or invalidate anything the president said uh, in January regarding the popular vote of 2016. Chris Kobach, Kansas Secretary of State, leading this commission. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.